the tie trader is not received with any application software loaded. The software is loaded onto the tie trader through a USB drive that comes with the purchase of an application pack. The USB application key is inserted into the tie trader and the correct applications can be selected and loaded onto the instrument for use. For this example, the use of the application key LZE128 is demonstrated in the application pH alkalinity HCL NaOH is loaded. Besides the application software, the USB drive also contains the application notes for each of the loaded applications. It is recommended that these are downloaded and reviewed before setting up the titrator and performing a titration. If this is the first time the USB drive is installed into a PC, the PC will indicate that it is installing a device driver software and then will notify that the installation was complete and ready to use. The PC will then show a USB drive part number, example LZE128, and drive will prompt to open folder to view files. If this prompt was not visible, then the drive can be located under My Computer. When the drive is open, there will be two folders inside named Application Notes and Hawk. The application note PDF files are located in the application note folder. These files can be easily printed, reviewed, or stored onto the PC in a separate location for future use. The application notes include information that is helpful to understand what titration and reagents are necessary to perform the titration, as well as tips and recommendations to perform the titration accurately. Sections of the application note include the chemistry explanation, the principle, what electrode, syringe, and reagents to utilize, the working concentration range of the application, recommendations and tips on technique, how to interpret results, and how to calibrate the electrode or titrin if necessary. Since the titrator is loaded with software to perform the titration, the application note also details the titration software settings, how to modify the application if necessary, and analysis steps to perform the titration. The application package AP0001.AT1102 is used for pH and alkalinity in water applications. The application package is compatible with all the AT1000 titrator models, including the AT1102, AT1112, AT1122, and AT1222. This slide details the main items necessary to perform the pH alkalinity H2SO4 or NaOH application. A full list of materials is detailed in the application note. In this training example, the USB application key has been installed and the appropriate applications loaded, including the pH alkalinity H2SO4 analysis that will be demonstrated. The AT1222 model was chosen for this training. The titrant side of this titrator has been prepared. This includes the following. The sulfuric acid titrant solution was purchased, the bottle cap installed, correct syringe tubing from the second syringe position fed through the bottle cap, and the desiccant cotton filled tube installed in the bottle cap. This application also allows hydro hydrochloric acid to be used in place of sulfuric acid as the titrant solution. The 10 mil syringe detailed in the application note has been installed on syringe port 2. The syringe port corresponds correctly to the location of the application on the second line of the display. The syringe tubing from the dispensing side, as seen with the blue indicator and upward arrow, is fed to the sensor holder. The pH electrode model PHC805 has been connected to the titrator in the back of the instrument in sensor port 2 and placed in the sensor holder using the electrode sleeve received in the application pack. The following items have been prepared for use including a clean glass graduated cylinder, sample beakers and stir bars from the application kit, 
a wash bottle filled with deionized water, a waste container, and a sample to measure. The orientation of the tubing and electrode in the sensor holder is important to note. The tubing and electrode are orientated across from each other in the sensor holder. The dispensing tip from the syringe and the electrode are set to the same depth, about 5 to 10 millimeters above the stir bar in the sample beaker. Using an empty beaker will assist in setting the correct tubing and electrode orientation in depth. The PHC805 pH electrode is a refillable probe. It is important to confirm that there is adequate filling solution and the filling hole is open during the titration. A 10 mil syringe is installed in position 2 as detailed in the application notes and because of the location of this application in the second row of the home screen. The syringe setting in the titrator software uses a 10 mil syringe volume as the default. The syringe size can be changed or confirmed in the software from the home menu in performing the following steps. Selecting the maintenance icon, then syringe management, then the syringe volume change for the correct syringe port in use, in this case position 2, and then selecting the correct syringe volume desired from a list available. The software provides notes in red text that helps match the application and correct syringe usage. When the 10 mil syringe is highlighted, the software provides a message in red that confirms the application currently loaded that matches that size syringe. The software will then apply the syringe volume change, the volume will be updated, and OK can then be selected. It is recommended to purge the tubing from the syringe at the start of each day's titration. This purge procedure clears air bubbles from tubing in the syringe and replaces old solution with fresh solution. The purge function is located on the home screen under the purge icon. Place a waste container under the sensor holder and select the correct position for the syringe that needs purging. In this example, the syringe 2 will be purged to correspond to the syringe connected and application loaded. The software will activate an internal valve to open the syringe that is selected and close the valve for the syringe that is not selected. When the syringe purge function is selected for that position, the titrator pulls titrant from the titrant bottle, fills the syringe several times, and dispenses the titrant to the sample beaker. Any air bubbles in the syringe should be evacuated during the filling and dispensing action. Fresh titrant is seen leaving the dispensing tip. If there were two syringes connected, the internal valve in the other syringe position is closed and the titrant solution would only fill the syringe and flow back to the titrant bottle. The closed valve would prohibit the solution in the syringe from dispensing into the sample beaker. After purge selection is complete, select OK and then exit out of the purge menu and return to the home screen. From the home screen, select the appropriate application from the choices previously loaded from the USB application key. For pH alkalinity, there may be more than one application choice. The method screen displayed next will confirm the following settings for this titration procedure, which includes the correct application at the top, the information icon displaying the sample volume, titrant, electrode installed, and any operator and sample information. The check icon details a few steps to prepare for, before starting the titration. When ready, the titration can be started by selecting the Start Soft key. For this application, the software will alert the user in red text that the PHC805 electrode is using an expired calibration. It would then be recommended to calibrate the electrode before starting the titration. To see information about the quality of the electrode calibration, the information icon can be highlighted and selected. From the information menu screen, valuable information on the electrode's last calibration date, slope, 
an offset is displayed. From this screen, the last calibration date of the titrant is also available. If the information is satisfactory, the information screen can be exited and the method screen access to start the analysis by selecting Start. Before the titration can be started, there are three steps that need to be performed. Step 1. Rinse the electrode and tubing tips with deionized water into a waste container and blot the electrode dry using a clean wipe. Step number two, accurately measure out 100 ml of sample using a graduated cylinder into a sample beaker. For other applications, the amount may be different. Step number three, place a clean stir bar into the sample beaker and lock the beaker into position on the sensor holder. Lower the sensor holder onto the body of the titrator to make contact with the built-in stirrer. When the sample beaker is in place, the start key on the method screen can be selected to start the titration. The software will display that the analysis is in progress and then that the sample is being homogenized for 15 seconds. During the step, the sample is being stirred. The titrator then begins to measure the initial pH of the sample in pH and millivolt units and the sample temperature. A stabilization bar is provided at the bottom of the display along with the analysis time and minutes. Once the measurement is stable, the instrument will process the result of the initial sample pH. The titrator software then advances to the real-time results screen and provides the following information. The displayed graph includes a left axis displaying pH units and what the electrode is measuring in the sample while the titrant is added. The bottom axis displays volume of titrant dispensed in milliliters. At the bottom of the display is actual values of the following. The total volume of titrant added in milliliters, the actual pH of the sample, the analysis time in seconds that has elapsed since the start of the titration, and the temperature of the sample as measured by the electrode. Also, the stirring rate percentage is provided and can be adjusted using the titrator keypad. The application note details the principle or theory behind this titration method and the determination of the phenolphthalene and total alkalinity value. The sample is titrated with an acid solution of known concentration to a detected equivalence or endpoint corresponding to a specific pH value. Phenolphthalene alkalinity, or P, is determined by an endpoint of a pH of 8.3. This portion of alkalinity is arbitrarily attributed to all the hydroxide and half the carbonate content of water. The methyl red, methyl orange, or total alkalinity is determined by an endpoint of a pH of 4.5. This portion of alkalinity is arbitrarily attributed to the hyd hydrogen carbonate, carbonate, and hydroxide concentration of water. The concentration unit for alkalinity is reported as calcium carbonate or CaCO3. The number of detected equivalent points depends on the initial pH of the solution. By definition, P alkalinity is zero for water, which has a pH value of 8.3 or less. This graph is displaying a pattern of dropping pH over time as acidic titrant volume is added to the sample. The target endpoint for phenolphthalein alkalinity is 8.3 pH, and for total alkalinity, it's a pH of 4.5. The graph shows that titrant was added below this desired 4.5 pH until the graph became level and the pH stabilized. When the software has determined a stable pH, the titration will automatically stop any further titrant addition and will stop the analysis. The titrator will display processing result and advance to a results screen. 
The measurement results include the following values, the initial pH of the sample as pHi, the P or phenolphthalein alkalinity value, and the total alkalinity value. Also included in the results are the sample temperature and the time duration of the titration analysis. The black dot at the bottom of the screen indicates that there is subsequent screens of information. By using the arrow keys on the keypad, the second screen can be displayed. In this application, the second screen displays the final curve, highlighted endpoint, titrant volume, and pH measured when the endpoint was achieved. A third screen is also available that contains the curve. If measuring more samples, the next button can be selected. If there is no other sample to be measured at this time or using this application, then exit can be selected. Once exit is selected, the software will display that the analysis results were saved and will return to the home screen.